here's an understatement for you. Martin Luther wasn't nuts about the Pope. (laughs) He railed against the Pope, concerned that this man, claiming to be the vicar of Christ on earth, was heaping heavy weights onto people's shoulders, a work-righteous system that was downright blasphemous and, dare we say, tawdry. Here we go, Luther's top 10 zingers. Then you will contribute by discerning Is this the way we should be talking today? Number 10, you popes are desperate, thorough, arch rascals, murderers, traitors, liars, the very scum. This is number 10. Of all the most evil people on earth, you're full of all the worst devils in hell. Full, full, and so full that you can do nothing but vomit, throw, and blow out devils. (laughs) Hey, and we're just getting warmed up. Number nine. You, Mr. Pope, are like a magician who conjures gold coins into the mouths of silly people. But when they open their mouths, they have horse dirt in them. Boom. Roasted. Number eight. Everyone can see that such a sentence must have been blown into you by all the existing devils with one breath. Apparently, Martin Luther thought that the vicar of Christ on earth was demon-possessed. Number seven, you are the worst rascal of all the rascals on earth. Number six, may God punish you, I say, you shameless, barefaced liar, devil's mouthpiece who dares to spit out before God, before all the angels, before the dear son, before all the world, your devil's filth. Awkward. <laughs> I guess the Pope understood how he felt about him. Number five, the devil rides you. Number four, you are an excellent person, as skillful, clever, and versed in Holy Scripture as a cow in a walnut tree or a sow on a harp. (laughs) (laughs) Number three, even if the Antichrist appears, what greater evil can he do than what you have done and do daily? Number two, you, Mr. Pope, are a brothel keeper and the devil's daughter in hell. And that brings us to the number one zinger from Martin Luther aimed at the office of the papacy. Okay, that's where the drum roll goes, right there. Too late. I can't read this one. (laughs) Because we pretty much pushed the limit on what YouTube would permit, leaving us to debate below. Should we talk like Martin Luther? All right, gentlemen, second half. Here's the strategy. Psalms. Imprecatory Psalms. Now take a knee. Let, let, 